So, as you can see, we do have a lot of luggage, but we packed an entire bag of rugby kit for the team in Pongo Pongo, and we also have a lot of stuff we packed for family in American Samoa and Samoa. But it was definitely a lot to lug around in our travels. Right before leaving on our trip, Mose was in a lot of pain in his left ankle. It was actually so bad that we went to urgent care and it turns out he has a bone spur in his ankle. So that's why you'll see him limping until we can get that fixed after our trip. Made it. Made it to Honolulu. Hawaii. Aloha. I'm surprised it's not boiling hot. I still have my sweatshirt on and not too bad. Breezy outside, now it's hot inside. So, we're on our way to baggage claim. Baggage claim 29. And we had a smooth flight, easy flight. Uh, you may take these two and you'll take that. <laughs> I know. Okay. So, let's go rental cars. So we're at uh, Bert's rental car. Um, we got one night, right, baby? One night here. One night here in uh, Honolulu. And we fly out tomorrow to Samoa. Mm -hmm. So we're getting a rental so we can drive around do a little bit of uh, sightseeing tomorrow. And then we're off to American Samoa. <laughs> Stay tuned. Go, go people. Go. Go, mate. Go, mate. We only got 20, less than 24 hours. Less than 24 hours. <laughs> uh, Nimitz. week we're gonna drive on this side of the road. Mm -hmm. I know. You are weird. Have you ever driven on that side of the road? Nope. I thought it was South America. South America is the same as America. Mm -hmm. But South America was crazy. Yeah. The car go beep all the time. Because they're so because close. They're so close. Like they cut you like, you know, all the time. Oh, 
playing cricket. Yeah. Yeah. I guess some more people playing cricket over there. Yeah, so that's the limits. I think mm -hmm. limits. So um, we're here at the, I think this is the Kalihi Park. This is where they play some rugby, some one flag day. I play cricket right now. Later, I don't know. Oh, yeah. It's women's. Uh, the women's cricket. playing cricket. Cricket. So, see, see American football flag over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, men's on this side. Women's on one oh, side. Okay. Men's on one side. So on this trip, we have one night in Honolulu in Waikiki, then we head to Panga Panga in American Samoa for about five days. After that, we'll head to Apia, Samoa for about a week, and then we're back in Panga for a few days before we come back home to Colorado. Mose is originally from Panga, and we haven't been back since June of 2019 because of the pandemic. 2019 was my first trip to American Samoa and my first time meeting Mose's mom and some other family there in American Samoa. As you may know, um, both American Samoa and Samoa have been shut down for years due to the pandemic and everything is finally opened back up again without quarantine requirements. So we are so excited to be going back home and to see family again after three and a half years. The way the flights are timed, we got a direct flight from Denver to Honolulu on United, which is about a seven and a half hour flight. Then the only airline to American Samoa is Hawaiian Airlines, which is about five and a half hours, uh, and the only flights are on Mondays and Thursdays. Those flights leave Honolulu in the afternoon, arrive in Pango at night, and then depart again as a red eye from Pango back to Honolulu on the same night, but arriving back in Honolulu around 6.15 a.m. the next day. So we have one night in Honolulu on the way out, then we have basically a day in Honolulu on the way back. So we booked one night at the Hilton Hawaiian Village, and our plan is to hit a few of our favorite spots in our short time here, as well as pick up some souvenirs for family in Samoa.
we've never stayed at the Hilton Hawaiian Village before, which is right on the beach. The shopping area, restaurants, and retail outside are set up with the Japanese style buildings and architecture and um, have a lot of pedestrian traffic. Uh, the, turns out the valet was only slightly more than South Park, so we decided to do valet this time. Um, when we checked in, it was uh, really nice. We got a bit of an upgrade. Uh, there was a Red Bull conference and welcome party going on just under our building, though uh, luckily it was finished at 9 o'clock since we went to bed not too long after that. Alright. She said our other room was ocean view, but a little further away. Oh. Well, and we got the nightclub. Oh, wow. That's really nice. There is the party. Yeah. On the website. Oh, yeah. Red Bull party. <laughs>